Hello and welcome to Right Now for Wednesday the 13th of December 2017. I'm Tim Wilms. Sam Dastiari has now resigned from the Senate. This was after further revelations about him doing the bidding of the Chinese government, which included using Senate estimates to question defence officials 115 times on the South China Sea and his attempt to prevent a meeting between Deputy Labor leader Tanya Plibersek and a Hong Kong democracy activist. The writing was really on the wall for him when Labor frontbenchers Linda Burney and Catherine King stated that he should consider his position. His resignation was certainly warranted, and given the contempt he had showed to many personalities on the right, such as Pauline Hanson, he will not be missed. However, there are rumours he will be pursuing a media career post-politics, which means we still may have to endure his antics and stunts on our TV screens. With the Turnbull government determined to claim Dastiari's scalp, which coincides with the government's announced crackdown on foreign donations and influence, the Labor Party is accusing them of Chinophobia. Bill Shorten and Christina Keneally have used this line of attack on the campaign trail in Benelong, which has nearly one in five voters with a Chinese background. The Chinese government have responded by stating the Turnbull government's rhetoric is full of racial undertones and that the Prime Minister appeared to be taking on a new role of China basher-in-chief. Of course, our government is not China-phobic, it is rather communist-phobic, given that China is still a one-party state which is known to use espionage to advance its national interest. It is of course correct that our government and security agencies maintain a healthy level of suspicion of their activities while not jeopardising our trade relationship. The Daniel Andrews Victorian government is facing criticism for its funding arrangements for its Westgate Tunnel extension in Melbourne. In securing $4 billion in funding with toll road operator Transurban, the government will extend tolls on the CityLink motorway until 2045 and will lift tolls at an annual rate of 4.25%. Also, the cost of the project has blown out from $5.5 billion to $6.7 billion. The increase in tolls is to be blocked in the Parliament by the Liberal Opposition and the Greens, which, if the project still proceeds, taxpayers will be on the hook for the entire project. Of course, Daniel Andrews might have been able to ease the cost of the project if he didn't waste $1 billion not to build the East-West Link in 2015. One is left to wonder why he likes this project so much but didn't like the East-West Link. Cryptocurrency Bitcoin is about to reach 20,000 US dollars. Many financial analysts claim this is a bubble and it is due for a big crash. However, given the ever increasing popularity of Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, it is highly unlikely it will all unravel. A lot of criticism of Bitcoin comes from financial players who have a stake in keeping the supremacy of state-backed fiat currencies alive and are missing out on massive financial windfalls due to Bitcoin. Those who currently hold Bitcoin have become quite wealthy from it and would certainly disagree with this pessimism. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe and check back here again soon to see what is happening right now then.